where it's headed, where it's going to be. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Is this has this been altered since last year? No. Nope. No. Okay, so we just say we've got a vote on it. Yes, okay. Thank you, proposed it, then seconded. All in favour? Yes. Thank you. This is going off the loo, is it? Sorry, was that unanimous? Yes, yes, I think so. Unanimous. Okay, to confirm the minutes of the meeting held on 17th April 2019 has a correct record. There was myself, Franklin, who's in the toilet, Ben Lanners and Andy Ford. Can we confirm? Yeah, yeah, ben proposes and seconded. Yeah. Vote in favour? Three in favour? Less abstentions? Okay. Left this meeting point Your favourite job. Can you oh, show yeah. the yeah. sign yeah. and date the last page, please? <laughs> did I literally guess this is the action? Yes, yeah. I did. Yes, you did. My only way you won one vote, Ben, if I'd lost, you'd be in trouble. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> really? <laughs> Nobody else point for it. No, no, no pressure there then. No, no pressure. This will wind him up to the young. It's getting old now. Yeah, I mean, no, you could have been put forward for it. Same as my boys, right? Was that 27, 27? Mm. Yeah, old then. Yeah. <coughs> I guess that's, that's, what, that's what we all do. Ben went to school with my uh, yeah. twin sons. Yeah, Same I know. Yes, yeah, they were uh, test tube babies. Oh my gosh. Oh wow. Yeah, yeah those were the days <coughs> when you had a 30% chance of doing it and it cost me around £20,000 all the time you tried. And my cousin. Still costing each. Yeah, well, they were a million each. And my cousin. He had trouble as well, and he did first time. He said, "Because now it's a ninety-five percent chance of it." Yeah. You know, wow. but that's twenty-seven years yeah. later, isn't it? Amazing. Yeah, but I mean, it's well, it's good anyway. <coughs> okay, next one. And they're both six foot two, but they're totally different. One is left-handed, one is right-handed. One is outgoing like me. The other one is quiet like his mum. Oh, amazing. Yeah. No, they're lovely lads. I like them, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, they're nice. Well, I always like to say that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're two bags. Thank you very much. Right. I've lost my place now. Just put the date on that. Oh, and which is? 19th. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. The election results. Any update from South Coast Council regarding the election expenses? No. Election expenses. No. no. I think you just get a bill, I guess. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. No, no. Um, we were in contact with them for a rough, uh, and it's very rough estimate, which we do each year. So that was covered but, by. But the, it varies a lot, does it, from year to year? I don't know, it'd be interesting this time because there are less wards, aren't there? With Although the less there polling stations? Well, no. Oh. <laughs> but less wards, no. <laughs> but that makes a difference. Yeah. 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 The same the same polling station, so it's probably, yeah. is it double per polling station? I think so, I yeah. think it is, isn't yeah. it? It's on yeah. per polling station. But system. then on top of that, you have got um, <coughs> the implementation yeah. in, which that would be the same. And we have been asking, each time there's an election, how much does that cost? I mean, it's astronomical, and it's like, can't we get a better deal, basically? So they keep threatening to, but, you know, we're a, a lone voice. Okay, we'll see. Deviating. Right. <laughs> okay, uh, agenda item to make to deal with any matters arising from the minutes of the meeting on 17th April are not covered anywhere else in the agenda. No, nothing. No, nothing. Okay. That is not discussed. <laughs> <laughs> Agenda item 9, to do with matters of correspondence referring to work within the scope of the Finance Committee. 9.1, replacement of basket, swing seats, chains and fixings at Rosemary Close and Beacon Play areas, which is in your pack here with the two little photographs on. Now first I'd like to say 
Are we supposed to get three quotes? No, because, because these, are very, these are very specific because we have to buy the same things that match because each company that provides that <coughs> provides different and we need to get ones that match so it's fine, it's a specialised sort of thing, yeah. I see, but yeah. presumably if it was very expensive then we'd, we could still say no, couldn't we? Well, yeah, but then we'd have to take the basket swings off and we'd have no, that bit of play for it and it wouldn't exist. Yeah, you'd have to buy. Yeah, you have to, you'd have to buy the whole. Yeah. Anyway, I'm just, I'm just being with you. That's no, right. that, that's a valid question. Right. Okay. So we got two quotes here. <coughs> the Rosemary Close Play Area is 1676 plus fat. And for the Beacon Play Area, which is quite a nice bit of kit that does, is 892 pounds and a penny plus fat. And do we know how long these are? Yeah. These quotes. You know how long the if that they were accepted and implemented, how long that that's likely to last? If, if you look at the, up at the yeah. top of the report, it tells you but how long what we've got in there has already lasted. So probably on the average about about the same, because obviously the beacon here gets a lot more play than the rosemary close play area because it's a lot that's a lot smaller. Um, so obviously that's essentially lasted double the length of the boat. Okay. So that's Presumably the rosemary closes yes. metal as well and beacon is, is wood. wood. Mm -hmm. From memory, wasn't the one on beacon the place to go shoot because vandalism wouldn't yeah, last a lot. So it wasn't actually worn out, it was vandalised. No, no, no. right. Okay, if the council is happy with this, could I have a proposal please? Ben Randall, seconder. Tom, all those in favour? That's unanimous, thank you. Can you tell me what this one actually was Vicky. No, it was Vicky. It was to do with play and This is just play, this is about 11, 11,300. And this, it's general. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just wondering as well. No, uh, the, the one for the play area replacements is up to 107,000 now. Yeah, because we were discussing on Monday in the Fesh Amenities the funding for the replacements and things like that would make sense to come from that. Mm. That's what it's for. Yeah, and we're, already, we're already budgeting up to like 40k, I think, on the quotes we have to support for equipment, so that's well within. That was for the, uh, yeah. that should be the maximum on the yeah, like yeah. for the gym stuff. How much? 40. <gasps> no, he hasn't got that much. Estimation. There's three categories. There's three. 25 and 40. Oh. I'll see what I can do. Okay, well, let's keep on the agenda, please. Item 9.2. Change the existing waste collection contract. Addition of general waste bin at Broadway Activity Centre. Dispose of litter bin waste collected by BSTC operatives. And you have a short page, this one, in your pack. This is to just add um, another general waste bin at Brookway uh, for our current contractors to empty um, just because Jason is emptying so many bins around the town that he's hard pushed to get everything into the bins that we've got so we just need another bin so that equates to £13.15 per collection per week which equates to an increase in the contract of £683. I don't think that's going to break the bank is it? Yeah. So oh, I'll propose that. Proposal by Elaine, seconder please. Tom, all in favour? Unanimous. Thank, Thank you. you. Don't want Absolutely. Well right then, agenda item 9.3, annual review of BSTC financial policies and procedures. 9.3.1, card details security policy. I'm happy to propose these because there's no change. There's no change. It's no. the same as last time. Yeah. Okay, proposed um, by Ben. Seconded by Tom. Anybody got any questions for the other vote? Any, no. Any in favour? Hands up. Any other questions? Sir? Unanimous. Thank you. Okay, 9.3.2 debit and fuel cards uses, usage, usage, <coughs> terms and conditions policy. Is that the same as last time? Yes. 
Same as last time, Ben proposes. Frank Blue second, all in favour? Aye. Thank you. Okay, 9.4, provision of MUGA equipment facility at the Jubilee Centre. Uh, if you remember, this came to full council and they wanted it then at uh, the annual town council meeting and they asked for it to be passed back to leisure, youth and amenities and also finance committees because obviously there will eventually be a financial input into this. Yeah. So it was discussed on Monday night Have at the Leisure Union on this or not? Is, no. No, okay. Um, because this was only happened at Monday night. So um, the agreement at the moment, officers were looking for direction. So the agreement at strategic planning to pursue the idea of a freely accessible Moonga has been extensively explored. Initially, the focus was to convert the most distant court on the Jubilee Hard Courts. However, that proved a potentially costly option as we wanted to maintain sports England in compliance on court dimensions. We therefore explored an alternative option of a dual purpose use space by potentially utilising the lower overflow car park when not in use. We could install MOOGA ends for use only when the car park is locked. However, concerns were raised that a potential conflict could be created when the or excuse me, when the area was in use as a car park. So um, the what's happening now is we are officers are going to explore a fully costed option of extending the existing hard courts, which would maintain the Sports England court dimension compliance and enable the installation of the MOOGA and then take the report back to Leisure Youth and Immunity Committee for further consideration. Right, so, so is this for us to note then, yes. is it? Yeah. Okay, so 9.4 is just noted. Okay. Right, agenda item 10 to deal with the following financial matters. 10.1, 2018 19 pre audit figures. Over to Rachel. Um, I didn't do a, a big report because the reports that were issued um, at uh, April Finance and the May AGM that um, the new councillors um, also received still stands. So um, with, the, with the report, um, the year-end figures that have been successfully um, internally audited, we, we've had a completely clear internal audit sign-off that came through was that last week, earlier this week, wasn't uh, it? Monday, Friday yeah. night, didn't it? Yeah. So we've had a, a completely sort of clear internal audit from South Gloss um, Internal Audit Services. So um, next week, all the figures for the audit and the uh, statement of the council will go to council, special extra council meeting that we have to sign off the audit. So all those figures will go forward. So this is just giving you the uh, finance ahead of uh, them being officially signed off next week by the full council. So attached to the um, attached to the report is our five-year forward plan. Um, uh, we'll it's that, that one. It's that one you queried actually. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
So um, I did explain that um, the we're dealing with actual figures and then projected figures as a jump between the two between these two years. And when we set the budget for 2019-20, um, we were halfway through the last financial year, so we were again projecting. And um, on top of that, we do year-end adjustments uh, into earmark reserves for certain end of spends, and we're moving money around. So it's never going to be sort of like for like. Um, if I just went for the budget start of each financial year and showed you those, there is a match. But you, you can't always have a, a clear picture of current budgets and the prior year's actual expenditures. So, but I'll, sh I'll show you, John, afterwards the, the other ones. Yeah, no, that's fine, that's fine, yeah. A lot of it's just down to either um, good budgeting and good... Um, um, good budgeting, I think. Good budgeting. Absolutely well, well and, and office management, um, because we do, we hardly ever go over budget. We're not allowed to go over budget. Well, we can't know. buy paper clips and things <coughs> at the end of the financial year. Right. There's no money there. <laughs> 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 it's very strict. <laughs> <laughs> it's true, I think I'm joking. <laughs> yeah, what is man. Thank you. <laughs> I, always, I always recycle my paper clips yeah. if I can. I've got plenty you can have. <laughs> so, so the report that you've actually got here, this is based on the last financial year's year-end figure. And just to put things into perspective, um, if you go to the the graph page, um, the first page of it is the plan chart. I, th I think this is the clearest way for you to sort of really um, see things. On the third printout in, or third page in, it's a comparison of actual 2018-19 incomes against annual budgets. So that's, that's on the income side, so basically we've outperformed our estimated budgets, yeah. which is good. And then if you sort of turn over to the last page, that is showing the actual expenditure, and expenditure shown in red, and the annual budget shown in blue. We're either under budget or on budget across every single sector. Excellent. That's good. And that's after the calls are taken into account and year-end adjustments. So um, the, um, a, <coughs> some of the youth money, as uh, council had um, requested, did go into earmark reserves. So we, we have got quite big monies sort of moving around that adjust it. But that that's just gives you a very very clear snapshot. The Salaries one is that because for a period of time we were carrying vacancies? Partly, and we also build in um, if someone wants to go into the pension fund because oh, and you get opt outs, don't you? We've got opt out. out, we've got all that going on, uh, we've got zero contractors, so we've got to have money there. Um, so basically, we, we try and budget the worst case scenario. Mm -hmm. So, you know, if that can be done without impacting the preset, which is what has happened for a number of years now, um, without it sort of going out rapidly, then um, in my view, we budget for the worst case scenario wherever we can. Well, I think to be fair, it's always worked on an individual. I mean, you know, things do change, but yes, it has worked to, today, and it has allowed any end of spends then just going to the year-end surplus that has then actually in later years paid for some of the assets that we've got as it's um, accumulated. <coughs> yeah, well, one worked out. Which is the new assets showing you the 19,200 in this on the first bit? I mean, 
sorry? It's partly for fun. I mean, it, the breakdown of it is actually in your income against budgets report. So. Sounds eighteen and a half. Uh, no, I think it was um, in the end. It was something like thirteen, fourteen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So on the new assets on page sixteen. Um, Yeah, we had some uh, we had some playground um, equipment that went in, and we had the fan. I'm just trying to. I'm looking at this for a long time. Yeah. New assets forty four one five nine. Yeah, we had the beacon play area equipment. Um, we had uh, street furniture, um, and it, it's just general, um, you know, sort of uh, day to day um, improvements in the uh, furniture at the centres, as well as uh, replacing equipment that they needed. The van was in planned projects, um, and that was 13526, that's on the next page. So everything in new assets is itemised from page 16. So some of that is, you know, sort of specials like um, the, um, the beacon replacement. The others, it, it's just expenditure from within our basic annual budgets. Okay. Can I ask for it? On the office phone system, which page, page uh, seventeen. Yeah. Uh, nine oh four six. Six. It's minus one one five. Yeah, if you explain what's gone on there. It's paid for last year. Right. Okay. And it, it's just an accord that was carried forward because at the year end, um, we hadn't received the invoice, so we had the quote that we'd accepted, and it was in orders, and I have to uh, accrue, and then when the actual invoice came in, it was. Mentioned fifteen pounds lower. For the sake of that, I'm not going to make an adjustment. I mean, one hundred and fifteen pounds isn't going to, um, you know, sort of have massive impact. You've got hundreds of thousands of pounds here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you quit hundred and fifteen quid. I just want to see what she's no, done with the actual line. <laughs> so, so at the end of this year, that disappears. No, no, it's 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 just it's just, just awesome. interesting. Saying, yeah. for it. Well, this is a, a lot of. of what you don't physically see at the end of the financial year, the prepayments have to be put in. So we have to we have to basically separate any incomes or expenditure that we've received within that period that does not relate to that period. That's to simplify it. So we've put the order for the phones in, but we haven't had the invoice yet. But I had to account for it last year. Right, so okay. by the time the invoice came in, that that's that's what sort of caused it. And actually, over in the far side, you've got a, 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 a balance forward. Forward, forward. Yeah. Can I just ask you a question about the uh, this one here? It's it's the comparison of actual um, expenditure against annual budget. At the end, it says we are not reserves held eight nine four thousand, and the next is the contingent reserve held two hundred for. So, so which, which page, um, which one were you It's looking? You know this one that's like, starts off with that, and then it's the final page? It's just, a, a, I'm just sort of thinking, does that mean that we've got that money, I mean, earmarked? The, the earmarked and the contingent. Mm. Right. The contingent is best practice that you hold um, a quarter of the year's budget for mm. crisis situations to keep going, because yeah. a, a town... Um, council can't go bankrupt. No, no, like nuclear attack or Brexit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, it's that type of thing. So uh, yeah, best exactly. practice in, in the uh, uh, practitioner's guide is to hold three months worth. So generally we hold 250,000. Now all these areas, earmark reserves and the contingent reserve it is, is closely scrutinised by the auditors. Mm -hmm. And we've just gone through four uh, internal audit. 
the it doesn't mean that we're in a very healthy yeah. position. Well, we separate it off to make it very, very clear because we try and be as transparent as we can to the residents. So rather than just <coughs> having everything lumped in as in mm -hmm. our reserves, um, I, the contingent reserve isn't in our it's their it, it's best practice, it's an emergency mm -hmm. fund. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It doesn't change unless our income or um, the expenditure turnover changes drastically. So it's gonna stay around about two hundred and fifty thousand. Um, and then the earmark reserves, they are more specific. So, you know, um, they are Sort of actually itemised, but but that's why they're they're shown separately. And what sort of thing could be in there? Unless there's a list somewhere, isn't there? There is. There's a list for everything. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I had absolutely I no doubt. On, but <laughs> on the out of these three hundred lists, I'm good on point. What it is, what it it is, um, we will get to know them. I think John's got to know them, haven't you? Over the over the years. So. Yeah. Um, on the income and expenditure against budget, <coughs> if you go to, um, it's, it's right at the one. very last page, Terry, that's that one. one. Oh, okay. So if you go to page 19, Final pages 19, 20, and 21 is all the earmark reserves um, and the contingent reserve. So these are things that we know we're going to have to spend and we've got the money from them. It, it, it's there in case we have to spend it. So an example is um, on page 19. Mm -hmm. Uh, nominal code 3016, which is in the, all our nominal codes relate to our accounts uh, yeah. on the SAGE system. So play, play area replacements, we've got 107,000 in there. Yeah. Um, we have got a number of play areas and a few, and a number of years ago we were advised build up a reserve of over 100 to 110,000 and that was before we even had the beacon here so that you're in a position that if every playground you know sort of broke down and, mm -hmm. and under health and safety you had to take equipment out uh, for example like we did here we immediately have a fund there that we, we can really? go back mm -hmm. in and put it back in rather than scrimping around trying to get money together and robbing other sectors it, it's really a forward projection parachute fund in in most cases in other cases <coughs> it's for something that council has approved and planned for that will come up at strategic planning that yeah. happens in september when councillors decide you know bigger projects that um, maybe need to be planned that will take a couple of years to do or yeah I'm so just, is that that's what the money is there for yeah I'm just thinking that you know you always hear on the telly about all these people all these councils struggling for money and this that and the other and I'm just thinking you know this seems like a really well managed financial system and I just wondered whether well, it's it it is. So, <laughs> 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 yeah. you haven't answered my final question yet uh, no, but, uh, you know, and I'm just thinking, you know, where, like, uh, in, in, in industry, you sort of say, um, share the best practice, and I'm just thinking whether that's something that, you know, we could say to the council, look, you know, this People is People do, but some of the... As they come to us, Yeah, they have, yeah. Yeah, mm. so, but it, it's difficult because, you know, sort of, you've got other smaller sort of parish councils that maybe have to for a public toilet and things like that. Yeah. You know, each one's, yeah, each one's yeah. different. Yeah. Yeah. So if you were to fill the whole patchway, it would be totally different yeah. to what it is here. That, that is guaranteed. But during the appraisal process last year, I thought that came out is the fact that how much the officers are actually giving to not just Bradley Stoke, but then going beyond the border of Bradley Stoke. So doing exactly what you just said is like 
dealing with the calls on the phones and advising and helping other other areas. And it was like uh, even with the youth worker on Monday, Graham, and what he did over in Stoke Gifford. So it's, it's stretching from finances to clerk management all the way down to, uh, across the board. I think it's really quite impressive what the office do that way. We are actually thought of within other parish and town councils. We are well thought of. They love our buildings. Whenever clerks come to meetings, they say, oh, we're so jealous of all your buildings you've got there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they are good. <laughs> so, yeah, we do get phoned for, you know, and asked mm -hmm. advice with different, especially if new clerks take over in other areas. We mm -hmm. quite often we'll get charge them for a training session. <laughs> 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 That's good income. Yes, Sorry? additional really? income. Yeah. We, we include so. them on our, um, some of our fire training, training things like that yeah. and charge them, so, mm -hmm. yeah. Right, but I was okay. thinking in the wider sort of, you know, not just the, our local area, but you know, other councils. But anyway, it's just a thought. I just think it's very impressive the way it's all run, and uh, it's a shame that lots and lots of people, you know, yeah. other councils don't benefit yeah. from that as well. Yeah. I think that's what income's done well this year, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Well, we went into the property phone. Oh. This is where not I'm blind. <laughs> not blind. Oh, we jumped no. in boots. <laughs> So this building is going to be ours soon, isn't it, or is it already? This building is already The office, we'll the office will be November 2021. Yeah. So we gain twenty-eight thousand ish then. I'm going to have a little ceremony for that, you know, because that's that's a big. Absolutely. Thing. I, I yeah. think it is because that's it, it's on a par with the rent that we were paying before we moved into that office in 2012 for you know, a pokey office hidden away up in the woodlands. Mm. Yeah. So yeah. we saved money there, mm -hmm. you know, year on year, let alone when it, you know, it is fully paid off. Plus then you've got an, an asset, you know, that, mm. of that value as well, yeah. haven't you? Yeah. I'll get Chris D to make a cake. <laughs> That'd be nice. <laughs> yes, we've got Brian Hopkinson to thank for that. Even though he said that. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay. Um, Thank you for all of that <laughs> info, sorry if I laid it a bit, uh, but... Oh, excuse me while I get this pronunciation wrong, Fab, Fabrizio, is that your Fabrizio? Yeah. yeah. You haven't said anything this evening, have yeah. you got, I know you're new here, but have you got any questions for Rachel or no, Finance? No, I'm fine, thanks. You've thanks taken this all in, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. I see you're busy writing notes. They, they complete my first round of meetings, this is my first final thing. Yeah. Okay. Um, the next time we yeah. the second round where I may speak. Yes, I mean, obviously, <laughs> you're deluged with figures here. By the way, if there's any queries, don't, don't feel oh, shy okay. to ask, you know, just speak up. Quite yeah. Okay. Okay. And also, I will just say for the new councillors, the office is always open. If you need to ask a question or if you get a set of agenda papers through and you need to, you've got something to query, just contact us and we will. Okay, so don't sit there being quiet. If you've got questions, yeah, just ask okay, it, okay? Thank you. you might regret saying that when you start. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mean going on all evening. Yeah. <laughs> you're just building up, you're just learning, aren't you? Yeah, you yeah. 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 No, I remember yeah, when I first year, it, it, yeah. it is quite difficult, but yeah. sometimes you say, something's there and you just can't understand it. But don't think you're going to be look silly if you ask, because you're new. So, you know, you don't yeah. And actually, there might be existing councillors who are thinking exactly the same thing, but didn't yeah, want but we're to too ask. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right, okay, where do we get to? Right, then. Uh, agenda item 10.2 to approve bills and direct debits for payments. We have that table. Right, I've lost it as well. Lost this word. Okay, I've got it. Okay, have you got any you queries? Have you got one? Oh, yes. <laughs> Got any queries? If you could just say a uh, reference number or the date, whatever. For most of this Type is them, pretty standard stuff, isn't it? Good, highlighted in gold. Um. No question. One small question is: Are our youth club or people using the minibus right now? Yeah, when when they're doing a, a trip. Yeah, they are, they are using it. The trip that um, Graham took the girls on, the Mojo trip, which he spoke about on yeah. Monday, yeah. he drove them, he, because he's got a minibus licence, so oh, he drove right. a minibus to yeah. take them. So if they go on any trips, like when they went 
ice skating in December, he oh, broke a lot. Oh, <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And we did reduce at the start of the current lease our contribution because originally we did it 50 50, 50 50, and we I think we reduced it to about 20% of the lease that we, we have actually. Yeah, because they had a lot more use of it. Yeah, 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 we yeah but we have used it a lot more over the last um, oh, good. few years. Got a room back. Well, exactly, yeah. yeah. I didn't realise that the skate park that that you know we upgraded that monitor and screen. I didn't I didn't understand at the time that we'd actually bought the smaller one initially because it says it's refundable. Well, we had we, we, we had, had paid for it. It was in the quote. It was in the quote. So that's right, why it's okay. been refunded because BS One couldn't change the invoice that they gave us that had the monitor on it. So they issued a credit note. So that's what the hundred pounds is. It's the right, credit okay. note. Can I just ask what does JCBC Jubilee Centre, 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 Jubilee Thank you, Secretary. All in favour? Unanimous, thank you very much. Okay, got to see one of the quickest financing in school. Mm -hmm. Yeah, great. Right, the yeah. agenda item 11 confirm the date that's our next meeting, which is 7 pm, Wednesday, 21st of August. Thank you very much. And thank you for the information. <laughs> Oh, yeah, well, we'll be close to the minute.